Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my 2022 January reading journal setup. For my reading journal this month, I decided to go with a sort of earthy mushroom theme. So I pulled out some of my favorite marker colors and this craft paper that I pulled from an Archer and Olive notebook. And I drew lots and lots of mushrooms with lots of different sort of ribbon banners in different colors. So I'm starting here with my quote page. I'm just drawing out some flags in different colors and different sizes to stamp in my quote that says, books may well be the only true magic. And is there not so much truth to that? <laughs> Now I'm creating my cover page. So I'm just drawing in different types of mushrooms in different colors and I'm trying to add as much texture and depth to them as I can. I wanted this sort of like earthy but magical look to this page and I think at the end once I add in lots of stars and sparkles it gave the perfect effect. Most of the markers I'm using here are my Faber-Castells, which I love. They're fabulous markers. But on this craft paper, obviously, they sort of absorb, I guess is the right word. <laughs> they sort of absorb into the paper, and it sort of changes the color of the marker, if that makes any sense. You can see when I draw it out, it's a lot darker, but the markers kind of mute themselves once they absorb into this craft paper.
So now I'm just using my Uniball Signo gel pen, which is my favorite gel pen, by the way. I love it so much. I'm using it to add highlights to the mushrooms and some sparkles all over the page. So the stamps that I'm using are actually from Hobby Lobby and I'm using a brown ink instead of black and I think it's so perfect for this because it continues with that earthy feel. So now we're moving on to my TBR and my reading log page and I just drew out some mushrooms here just as decoration really and I'm going to stick in some images of the book covers that I just printed off on my computer onto sticker paper and I'm just going to put those on and those will be my three books that I am choosing to read for this month. So the books that I decided to go with are Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. I loved Fable and Namesake so much that I cannot wait to read Sky in the Deep. I'm obsessed with the TV show Vikings and I hope that it is similar. <laughs> I also decided to go with One of Us is Next by Karen M. McManus. My daughter listened to the audiobook and said that I have to, so I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> and my next choice was Velvet Was the Night by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. I'm really excited to read all three of those books. They seem like they're going to be wonderful. And the opposite page is my reading log where I will just write in the books that I've read, the date that I started, the date I completed, how many pages and or hours it was on Audible, and my star rating. So the next spread here is sort of like a trackers page and my book of the month page. The top of the left hand page is where I will write in whether it was a physical, audio, or digital book that I read that day. So I've kind of labeled that format. I couldn't really think of any other way to label that. The place where I drew all the mushrooms is my time tracker where I will track how much I read every day and I think the mushrooms are adorable. They're like a cute little cluster of adorable little mushrooms and the next page is my book of the month page where I will stick in a photo of the cover of each book that I chose for my book of the month picks that I get from book of the month club
So now we're moving on to my favorite quotes and my favorite book pages. And this is kind of self-explanatory. I will write in some of my favorite quotes from the month on the favorite quotes page, and I will write in information about my favorite book on the favorite books page. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know in the comments down below what you're going to read in January. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.